Hey y'all, so I've been testing out this new drop system. Uh, it's made by uh, Terrestrial Imaging. They sent it to me to test out and their product line is Dromite, as you can see on the actual mechanism there itself. And I know some of you may be thinking that, you know, hey, another drop system. Um, yes, I have tested out many drop systems and I'm sure there'll be many more to come. Uh, but this one, I'm happy to say, is the best one that I have tested yet to date. Now, I've even tested some that I did not make a video on because I would not recommend them to anybody. Essentially, if you have one that's mounted to the plastic nacelle on the bottom underneath the battery, um, you're kind of doing the same thing as if you screw a, a ball hitch to the plastic bumper on a Prius and hope for the best. Uh, may work for a while, but it probably odds are not in your favor. All right. This one though, however, is well designed on many ways and it's almost like they listened to public safety input and designed it for our needs, all right? I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna kinda go over a few things that I like about it. I'm not gonna go over the whole setup. Uh, they make a whole video. It took me probably about uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes to, to initially attach everything um, and follow all the instructions and watch the videos and then I had it up and going. Now to deploy this thing only takes a few seconds and that's one of the things that I really like about it. So the first thing is, is that the well-engineered is they have these keyhole slots. So these top pieces, they stay attached, but they're just two little small tabs. So one of the, on some other designs, they have this bracket that stays on the aircraft at all time and that's unnecessary. It's unnecessary weight and unnecessary to leave something like that attached to the aircraft. This one removes with just a two little tabs that just weigh a couple of grams each, there's nothing to it. Um, all the hardware is included. In fact, you know, all the, all the uh, fasteners and the gaskets, and you even get this nice uh, driver to, to uh, mount the screws onto there to remove the, the old, old uh, the landing gear bracket and all your new fasteners, so you get to keep that. And then it comes with this tool, which is essential for, um, at, for mounting it and then and tightening it. And I'll go over that in, in just a minute. But I'm, again, I'm not gonna go over the whole attachment thing. I'm just going over uh, what I like about it and the function of it. So quick attach, you take in uh, two keyhole slots, you mount it, fasten it both sides. And then down here on the, on the bottom, next thing that I really like about it is that you have a open and close mechanism for the bolt. Meaning that if you have a, let's say you have your, your uh, tag line and instead of having some kind of a carabiner, you just have, or even a string with a, with a loop, you gotta do something makeshift. That can be problematic on some with this one. You press this button and it opens, press it again and it closes. So it really adds to that capability, um, especially if you're in, in a pinch and you really need to get that thing attached quickly. Uh, that's very nice. The other thing is, is this works on both the V1 and the V2, which I know some other solutions have that kind of challenge. And then the last thing that I really like about it is that this does not require you to monkey around with the app at all. So I did differ from the instruction just a little bit in that I took and I, I program, they, they on the instructions, they tell you to program it one of these buttons or they suggest, I should say. Um, for me, because I've actually done several deliveries before, I programmed it to the BA button. And the reason is this, is that whenever you are over your victim or whatever you're trying to drop on, you're often using your right stick to line everything up and get it in the right location. And for this, you would have to transition. You know, Maybe you're getting, you gotta push against the, some forces, wind, whatever it might be. Um, you want that right stick. So what I did is I programmed to the BA. So I recommend you do the same on yours. But here's the nice thing about it is that I don't have to take my hands off the controller and mess with any of the app. I just press this. Now the, the press on it is three presses to prevent an accidental one. And it's just a steady pace. So not one, two, three or not one, two. It's just a one, two, three, like you would count. And it'll automatically close. All right, and there you go. All right, so it's really that simple. Uh, the system works really well. I'm gonna take it out and we'll just do a, a quick test flight maybe with a PFD or something like that. But I wanted to get this out there to you and show you it is a very well designed system, well thought out, um, and it also allows for you to 
fit everything into your cases just fine. No modifications, quick deployment. Oh, probably takes about maybe 30 seconds to attach and, and get it ready to deploy. So it's pretty much nothing to it. So anyway, let's take this out in the yard and, and just drop a PFD out there. So let's get a drop in on this. Uh, I'm just out here in my front yard and I'm just gonna carry a, a PFD. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna do a little bit differently though is normally I, I put one of these uh, S-beaners on there and I'm going to remove it just because kind of demonstrate that convenience. You don't have to have one of those anymore with this system because you can just open and close that bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it real quick. Open, close, connected, done. And all my systems say that they are good to go. We probably have about a 15, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind today out here, but that should be okay for this. Um, and by the way, um, I've, when, during my testing this week, before I take off, I'll just say, but while, during my testing over the last few weeks, I have uh, carried everything from medical kits to sensors to PFDs. I even carried a four pound sledgehammer now. The M210 will do it, but I don't recommend it. Those engines, those motors rather, I'm sorry, motors were hot uh, whenever it landed. And I mean, you could do it for emergency, but um, it's, it's definitely not easy on the aircraft. So let's go ahead and fire this one up. All right. And there it is. Again, it maneuvers just fine. We expect that, that's mostly on the aircraft platform. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and press my button three times and it should drop. And there it is. And it does that every single time, time and time and time again. And uh, it automatically closes uh, after about a second or two. So it's already closed and I can bring it back. All right, so there it is. I know that's just one quick demo. Again, I've, I've, I've tested this over several weeks now and carrying everything heavy stuff. I really wanted to kind of put it through the stress test, um, carried some, like I said, up to four pound sledgehammer. So anyway, great product. So would there be anything, I don't know if I could even, on something like this, it, it would be, uh, I don't know. I, I think I, if there's anything that I, I have to do, I have to recommend one improvement and that is so as good as this is and again i want to reiterate this is the best drop system for the m210 that i have tested yet but if there's any one change that i would make to it if there's one improvement it's this little tool right here is what's currently needed to attach the bracket so again you put it on those those uh, little uh, eye hooks or those little eye slots and it connects quick you screw it in there but Here's the problem is I've been working around public safety way too long that this is not going to stick around very long. It'll get lost somewhere. And then whenever they go to attach it, they'll be looking for this. What I would recommend instead of having to have this, that they would take and put thumb screws in the same location. Now they may be a little hard to term, just put some good knurling on them. Uh, four thumb screws, they take the same thing, kind of open it, drop it on there four thumb screws with their hands and good to go. But anyway, regardless, outstanding system. If y'all are still looking for a drop system, uh, this is the one to go. I, I did ask the price on this also, and they said it was gonna run right around 750, um, which is right on the money compared to some of the other stuff out there, uh, considerably less uh, than some of the most expensive systems out there and uh, right on target with even some of the least expensive. But beyond all that, it is the most well-designed uh, system that I've seen yet. So anyway, hope this helps and we'll talk to you later.